All right, class, today what we're going to do is get started on the process of making our riveted keychain. So we're using uh, letters, numbers, symbols, um, all in a military style. You can see uh, what that does is uh, connect pieces. Um, it, they're actually meant so you can spray paint, um, but so those middle pieces don't fall out, which is important when we have uh, things like this. So like the middle of the D doesn't fall out. Uh, so we're going to get started on the uh, background plastic first. Um, so I'm going to move those things. I cut out the letter that I wanted and made sure to cut right on that black line. Uh, as I'm picking, this is what we're going to make. We're going to make a, uh, a kind of a set of lines around this so we know how big this needs to be. Uh, so once you've got your piece of plastic, first thing I'm going to do, I know this edge is not square, but I know this bottom long edge is nice and straight and flat. So I'm going to have an eighth inch spacing all the way around and a quarter inch on top. So that is not big enough that way. So I'm going to just keep this corner um, intact again I know this line is straight so if I this side I've got plenty of room obviously so I'm gonna start off by covering this in tape okay so I've got that first bit of it covered in tape the part that I'm gonna need uh, first thing I'm gonna do is create a square corner over here like I said this edge is straight I know because I cut that with a table saw so I'm gonna line this up right here and I'm going to mark the part that I'm going to have to cut off the bottom. And again, you can see how out of square that is. So now that's my square corner. Um, so I'm going to lay this in here. And now I'm going to have an eighth inch uh, extra all the way around my piece of plastic. And I'm going to have a quarter inch at the top so that I have room for the keychain. So I'm going to start measuring that out now. Uh, so to create a nice parallel line with the edge here, I'm going to measure twice. So eighth of an inch, I know I can fit eight of those in an inch. So if you can find a quarter, again, you can fit f four quarters in there. A quarter, or half of a quarter is an eighth. So that's my line right there, or my mark. So uh, if you prefer the metric system, Instead of the English system, you could use three millimeters instead. Okay, so I've got measured over there and there. So now I'm gonna connect that line, or the connect a line between those two marks. Make sure to take my time, line it up nice and straight. Okay, I'm gonna do the same thing at the bottom. Mark my eighth Come over here mark my eighth again connect the dots okay so that shows me where my piece is gonna go so keep in mind I'm gonna mark this stuff that I'm cutting off I'm gonna cut that off so now I have a border of an eighth of an inch on both the left and the bottom. I'm going to create that a similar border on the other side. So laying my paper here, I'm going to mark this, mark this, and I'm not measuring this time. I was just marking around the piece of paper. Same thing. here mark here okay so again my paper goes here so I need to add an eighth of an inch outside of that line again like the metric system three millimeters Okay, so laying this on here, I'm going to just kind of continue to mark and kind of show you what I know I'm going to be cutting off so that you can see that. So I'm cutting all this orange off so far, all the way there, okay? Uh, so at the top, again, we want a little extra room there for our keychain. So I'm going to measure uh, a full fourth of an inch at the top from that spot. So I'm now using the fourth inch mark. 
measure over. Connect the dots. And mark what's getting cut off. So, in order for me to check this off before you cut it out on the bandsaw, I want to see your letter laid out and I want to see what you're going to cut off around the outside so we can visually see it. Uh, with lots of lines drawn on here, uh, sometimes you can get confused. So I want you to highlight the part that you're going to cut off and it doesn't really matter to me what color it is, so make sure you've got that. Um, next thing we're going to do is cut out our strip of metal and get our design laid out on there. So this is the design we're going to lay out on there. Um, so I've got my strip of metal ready to go. And as you can see, somebody did me wrong on this edge. It is not straight, but we're going to visually check it anyway. So I'm going to lay my ruler on here, and I'm not using it to measure, really. What I'm doing is checking for square. So if I've got this edge lined up with a strip of metal, slide this down all the way, you can see that it's not even. So that's part of what I'm going to cut off. And don't take a big chunk off the end of this. Take as little as possible if it needs squared up. Next thing I'm going to do is lay my letter S on here. And I'm going to mark it just once. And the reason I'm going to mark it just once instead of measuring um, like two times and connecting the line is because I've got this long line, line across the edge that I can use. So I'm going to lay it on there. And now I'm ready to cut that out. So cutting this out. I'm going to start with this ugly end here. Cut that off. Sometimes this is a two-hand operation to get through this. Okay, so I've got my chunk of metal for my letter cut out. Next thing I'm going to do is wrap that in tape. So you can see I've already done that here. Uh, now I'm going to work on transferring my design over. So how do I go about doing that? I'm going to lay my letter on here. And I'm going to use just a little bit of tape along the edge. And I don't want to cover up my design. So just a little strip there. Make sure this is exactly where I want it. Tape it on. Okay. So I've got a little book. Okay. Uh, now I'm going to use carbon copy paper. So what this does is as I draw, and this is in between there, it's going to leave a mark on the tape. So make sure the blackest side is down. Tuck it in your little folder there. And now I'm going to trace over this and a pencil or a ball pen works great. And I'm going to carefully just trace, trace, trace until I'm happy with that. Okay, keep going. Okay, so before I peel this uh, letter S all the way off of there, I'm going to check and make sure I got everything. And you can see I missed the little dot over here, which is important. That's where our little rivets are going to go. So I'll tuck that back in there before I take that off. Uh, once you've got it to this point, now is your opportunity to fix it if you've messed up your tracing a little bit or you're not happy with one of your lines. So, for example, I'm not really happy with this line right here. So I'm going to take my marker and go back through. Fix that line up because what I have now is what I'm going to follow to cut this out. So just make sure everything is nice exactly the way you like it. No hiccups in your lines so that it's ready to cut out. All right. Go team.